I thought I'd record this while I had the chance. <laughs> At least the first episode, anyways. Connect. Thank you. Dad, why what the hell keep, is going on? It keeps disconnecting. I don't know why. I don't know why that's happening. Oh, it usually happens if the battery is low. You don't know where your charger is, do you? Ugh, I haven't been able to charge any of my batteries for months. It's pissing me off. I've got like six in a loop batteries and I can't charge any of them. Pandora's Tower. English. These guys made Jump Ultimate Stars. I feel like I'm starting to watch a Final Fantasy game or Sonic 06, one of the two. <laughs> Didn't you make that comment during uh, Double May Cry 4? Yeah, because they all look the fucking same! <laughs> that beautiful maiden, part of some. Hey, look, he actually uses his hood. <laughs> Character development. This girl. If you don't act to help her, she won't be human much longer. Why? <laughs> Slowly but surely, she will become a beast. <laughs> Why are you laughing about that? They're still in CGI graphics territory. <laughs> oh. Honestly, I can't help but look at some of the things in this game and just think of Ico games. Uh, yeah, it actually gives off that kind of vibe, to be perfectly honest with you. I feel like that might have been what they were going for. It, it really feels like it is. Now we're in the in-game graphics. Where the difference? There, behold the thirteen towers. Eh, not bad looking for B standards. How do you even build them to be like that? Oh, uh, there's lore of how they got that way. Elena. No doubt you're keen to return to your old self as soon as humanly possible. <laughs> Human being the key word there. <laughs> Still hideous, no matter how many times you see it, isn't it? And once we get there, then I... Let's not tarry here. No doubt the army are close behind. Observatory.
Get used to this loading screen. You'll be seeing it a lot. This chain. Take it. You need it to get hold of all that beast flesh. The flesh is for a ceremony, you see, to get her back to her old self. Mavda, I want to go too. I'll be back. He spoke! <gasps> He's not a silent protagonist! You'd best head off without delay. To be fair, he almost might as well be. <laughs> he rarely speaks. Aaron, be careful. Aaron! What, what they get the uh, voice actor to come in for like an hour? <laughs> okay, say this line, this line. Okay, you're done. Go home. Here's here's your money. <laughs> Tree top tower. It's like I wonder if the voice actor was like, "Why did you even need a voice actor for this game?" Anyways, press A to attack. Well, we did have to do the attack. Yeah. Anyways, hold down the button to charge up. And when you do a charged slash, you'll see that ring. Around you. If you time your button press with the ring, you can do more attacks. If you press the B button, you enter aiming mode with your little cursor here. This game really has a thing for chains, huh? Yeah. It appears to be one of the gods of Eos. He bears a chain and, and a symbol of wood. Anyways. Press A to shoot out your chain. Press C to pick up items. When you're aiming at something, you'll notice those lights that try to converge. If you time your A button presses with the converging of the lights, you will basically do a chain strike, which is you stab people with their chain, with the pointy end of the chain. Huh. It is possible to combo that up to five strikes, I believe. Huh. Doing that means it's essentially possible to... I, it would pretty much be possible to, like, go through this whole game just using the chain. Huh. If you wanted to. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do that, but I do believe it's possible. Anti-gravity chain. That's what it looks like. The Arachnos chain. It is... It is... A magical chain. Well, there is a crafting system in this game. You level up, although... I wouldn't exact... The, the leveling up is more like leveling up in Castlevania than like most other RPGs. Hmm. And that is a beast! Time to fight this thing!
I forgot. Just, you just letting go of the B button causes you to wrap them with the chain. You got beast flesh. I have to get the beast flesh. I, I've got the beast flesh. Now I need to get back. Seven liots. That is the game's currency. Medical moss. You auto climb and auto jump in this game. Huh. Auto climb. That's uh. Huh. Yeah, I climb just by pressing towards them. Anyways, I can use the D-pad to switch between different use items, and I can press up or down on the D-pad to use them. Huh. Dragging your sword like that will probably dull the blade, dude. <laughs> Returning! Boing? Oh, there you go. Can't use your sword or chain in this area. Come out here, you can see the 13 towers. They weren't built like that. Something happened. But we'll get more into that later. And obviously they weren't built that that's not natural. Yeah. First you need a foundation of chains! Chains make the best foundation! I see. So, have you brought us back flesh for the ceremony? Yes. Here. Go on now. Oh. Take a bite. <gasps> you want me to eat this? Ew. Ah, I see what the problem is. Folks in this country are believers in Ios. You're forbidden to eat meat, aren't you? They're vegetarians? Now this little morsel is beast flesh. Freshly cut from servant beasts. Oh, what? <laughs> Yeah, it's a whole religion of vegans. <laughs> ah. Come now, girl. Eat it down. Elena. But I've never eaten meat. Well, if you don't eat it, your fate will be sealed. And there'll be no game. You'll grow more and more monstrous. And there'll be no happy ending for you and young Aaron. <laughs> Aaron! <laughs> Out of the three Project Rainfall games, I think this is the best looking one. <laughs> At least, that is until Xenoblade got itself a sexy HD upgrade. <laughs> yeah. Yo ho ho, she took a bite of Beast Beast. What the fuck? <laughs> Ooh. That's still in game graphics, by the way. We made sure to animate all the juicy details. And I do mean juicy. Elena! 
this would be like eating the bokoblin or moblin guts from Breath of the Wild. It's... It's helping! The beast parts are melting. <laughs> Look at that side boob. That's it. The curse. In the heart of the continent of Imperia lies the kingdom of Illyria. At its remotest edge, hundreds of leagues from the capital of Helicon, a forbidding wasteland stretches to the furthest horizon, Orcanus. Deep within this desolate expanse, where none may set foot, the earth has been torn asunder to form a rift extending over thousands of leagues, known simply as the Scar. At its center, suspended above this fathomless fissure, are the 13 towers. Towers of all sizes, interlink and intertwine, each playing their part in the intricate design, fusing to become one single vast fortress. Held in place by 12 chains that grip the walls of the surrounding cliffs, the towers loom like a spider in its web, seeming to inhabit a space beyond the normal world. The bristling turrets of the towers serve a purpose. They bind the earth together, preventing the scar from widening and tearing the world itself apart. Pandora's Tower. Well, Pandora's box is a pretty awesome weapon, so... <laughs> You mean Pandora's briefcase? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> 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 You're back. You made it. Uh, uh yeah? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. And you too, Mavda. Oh, this is wonderful. I can go back to my village. Don't get too far ahead of yourself, young lady. The curse is far from being lifted. Huh? There, on your back. <sighs> Not so long as that mark remains. Sorry, Mark, you gotta go. <laughs> it's either you or her, and you know. <laughs> the curse hasn't been lifted. What do you mean? But I'm normal again. Means we treated the symptoms, not the cause. Yeah. Only for a while. So long as you have that on your back, the curse will slowly take hold. You mean. The meat. I can't stomach any more. We need some seasonings. Well, I'm afraid you're going to have to. Otherwise, things are only going to get worse. Well, don't worry. Your brain will reprogram your taste buds to eventually enjoy it once it figures out it needs it. <laughs> your brain can do that. <laughs> it's a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the maiden at the harvest festival would end up forced to eat meat? Um, I've got a question. Why is this happening? Why? That's because of the curse, of course. Why was Elena Why, cursed? Why, indeed. <laughs> How would I know? What's that thing on your back? Are any others cursed? Why, yes. Poor Elena is not the first to be cursed in this way. 
And what happened to the others? I don't know what... Aaron has a voice actor. I don't know why these parts that he says aren't spoken aloud. Yeah. It makes no sense. All sorts of things. Some fell into the hands of the Illyrian army and were dealt with. Reversing the changes. All you have to do is to keep bringing beast flesh back from the towers. Though that will only weaken the curse, it won't hold it back forever. What do you mean, weaken the curse? When Elena consumes the flesh, her changes will reverse. But this respite is only temporary. If you leave her as she is, the poor girl's transformation will continue unabated. If you can't slow the curse's progress, she will never be human again. Old woman's name. You've got a memory like a sieve. My name's Mavda, and don't you forget it. Just who are you? I told you this already. My people are the Vestra, and we are traveling merchants. I think he's about to ask the question I was going to ask. <laughs> What's on your back? What is on your back? You forgot already? Deary me, I introduced you. This old fellow is my boon companion. He's rather shy and retiring, I'm afraid. Oi, you up there. That's right, isn't it? I believe that's her husband. So this is to be my life? To be cooped up in here, eating foul flesh? Hey! <laughs> Must I learn to live like this? Can I not lift the curse? Lifting the curse, you say? Well, now. Oh, do tell me, Mavda, please! Aaron, you must head back to the towers. Deep within each one, a master awaits you. Is that a boss? Yes. Defeat these masters and return here with their flesh. Are they like Colossus? Yeah, I was just thinking about that, that. It's like, this sounds, this concept that sounds familiar. Hmm. I think it is, it is done differently, though. Yeah. If Elena eats this flesh, the mark on her back will fade, and she may be human once more. No! I won't hear of it! How can I ask Aaron to face such dangers for my sake? <laughs> of course. That's easier said than done. Oh, that reminds me. I have a little something for you. What is it? Well, first we have to magically transport outside. <laughs> Here's your chain back. This belongs to my people. It's called the Oracle's Chain. Mm. Huh. And now to take just a little of Elena's lovely hair. What? It's for Aaron's sake. <laughs> I take it this is your first time. 
quite a sight, is it not? My people, the Vestra, are the heirs to a special power. We can control the chains of destiny, the invisible ties that bind people together. Are you chain versions? Virgins? Is this your first time seeing this? Why, well, yes. <laughs> Aaron, hold out your hands. It seems you know what you're doing, so I will entrust this to you. Now, wherever you go, you will always be connected to Elena. Is this like marriage? <laughs> Did we just get married? Huh? Is this chain marriage? Because you know I'm totally into some kinky. Uh, you know. <laughs> Do you want to save your game? Yes. Continue game. No, we're gonna we're gonna end it off here. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. I I need to practice and and research for what comes next. Yeah. But uh, yeah, happy Valentine's Day special. Yeah, Pandora's Tower, the chain, 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 chains of chains, chains. Did I mention chains? The old ball and chain. <laughs> See ya.